Hi, welcome to another SciTech video. Launching an object beyond Earth's atmosphere is a mammoth task. For this, the object needs to be launched at very high speed, which requires enormous amount of fuel. That is why fuel accounts for approximately 80 to 90 percent of rocket's weight. On the other hand, the Earth is spinning about its axis at a very high speed. This spin can impart an extra push to the rocket, thereby reducing the amount of fuel required to launch a satellite. In this video, let us see how different space agencies across the world have strategically selected their launch sites to utilize Earth's rotation to effectively launch satellites. The most interesting example is Guiana Space Center, located in French Guiana, South America. This site is used by world's largest commercial satellite launching company, Ariane Space, and the European Space Agency. What makes this site interesting is the location. Even though this site is located thousands of miles away from Europe, the Europeans prefer to launch from here. The main reason being it is very close to equator. It is for the same reason the American, Indian, and Brazilian space agencies have built their launch sites very close to the equator. So why close to equator? It may be hard to believe, but the surface of Earth at equator is rotating much faster than at poles. This is because the Earth takes 24 hours to complete a rotation, and the surface of Earth at equator has to cover larger distance than the surface at poles. Since speed is directly proportional to distance, surface of Earth at equator moves faster. To understand this better, let's take a simple example. Consider a point on the perimeter of a circle. To do a complete rotation, it would need to cover a distance equal to the circumference of the circle. Now consider another point which is closer to the center. This point being closer to the axis of rotation would need to cover smaller distance to make a rotation. Now if we know that the two points complete one rotation at the same time, we see that the point on the circumference has to travel faster to complete one rotation compared to the other point. This is indeed proven by the mathematical calculation shown here. Now using the same principle, let's calculate the speed of surface of Earth at different points. To start with, let us take two points on the surface of Earth. The distance from the axis of rotation of these locations are shown here. We see that the point 1 is farther away from the center and also close to the equator. Therefore, using the inference from the previous example, it would be traveling faster compared to the other point. Calculating using actual values, we do see that the point 1 is traveling at almost 500 km per hour faster than the point 2. In reality, the point 1 is Guiana Space Center while the point 2 is Paris. Thus, by launching rockets from Guiana, Ariane Space is actually getting an additional speed of 500 km per hour, free of cost. This indeed is one of the main reasons for the French company Ariane Space to launch from Guiana Space Center instead of France. We also see how much other agencies are saving by launching from their launch sites instead of other cities. But how does this help a rocket launch? When the rocket is launched and satellite is deployed, the satellite would continue to revolve around the Earth at the same speed as the surface of the Earth was spinning. This is due to inertia. Also, for a satellite to maintain its orbit, it would need to maintain a good orbital speed, else it would crash onto Earth. Thus, by launching from a site closer to equator and giving the satellite a higher initial velocity, less fuel is needed to obtain the required orbital speed. The above advantage is mainly applicable for satellites orbiting in what is known as geosynchronous orbit. A satellite in this orbit rotates at the same rate as Earth. Communication and imaging satellites are few examples which require it to be in geosynchronous orbit. This orbit is almost parallel to equator. Thus, by launching satellites from location closer to equator, the destination orbit is almost in the same plane as the launch site. Thus, very less effort is required in terms of bringing it to the final geosynchronous orbit. This is one more reason why the launch sites are closer to equator. Th Thanks for watching guys. Do share this video if you liked it.